welcome back to Finally Honestly. And if you are new, hi, hello, and welcome. I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. And before I get started, let me ask you a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe and share this with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. And if my voice sounds a little cracky and weird, uh, we just got back from Vegas earlier um, on Monday. Um, it, um, it's Thursday, by the way. I'm filming this on Thursday. <laughs> we just got back on Monday, the after St. Patrick's Day, because we sent we spent St. Patrick's Day weekend in Vegas. And if you don't know, St. Patrick's Day is actually really, really huge in Vegas. Like they had parties all over Fremont and the Strip. So on Fremont, there are about four or five different stages, and each stage had different bands playing. And you know, I'm one of those people who, if a band is playing, I will be like hyping them up and like, woo, yeah, woo, go, and singing and screaming. And so I was doing that and I kind of blew up my voice. It's coming back now and it's sounding a lot better than it did, but it does go out every now and then. So I am most likely not going to be talking a lot during this tutorial just because I don't want to completely screw my voice over. Anyways, so this video is actually going to be a continuation of the Harry Potter series that we were already doing. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link down below for Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. Today I'm going to be doing Hufflepuff. I don't really remember why I set this series down and did other things. I don't really remember, but yeah. <laughs> And I realize it has been like three weeks since I uploaded. Um, I don't really have an excuse. I mean, kind of. I have been focusing on just creating looks that I'm loving and having fun doing and not so much recording them. And for those of you who don't know, maybe you do if you follow me on Twitter. Um, your girl got chosen to be on the Anastasia Beverly Hills PR list. Um, I really don't know why I was chosen out of all the million amazing beautiful people who have entered and been trying to get Norvina's attention, but I am grateful, eternally grateful, like super, super excited. I can't, I'm just like, I still haven't quite processed it and I still can't quite figure out how I knew it. I am supposed to be reacting other than just shock and amazement and oh yeah anyway so yeah that happened um yeah um another thing that happened is i am now officially a full-time student so because i am now enrolled full-time at a like different college than what i was going to already for medical office um i am going to be going monday through thursday in the morning time i am going to try my hardest to film on fridays or after work, after school on some days when I have time and don't have a bunch of homework. So I will try still to get one video out a week while I'm in school, but no promises. There may be some weeks where I don't upload, but if you follow me on Twitter, I will still try to be uploading at least one or two looks a week on Twitter. Because for me, it's easier to sit and do a look than sit, do a look while talking through it and explaining what I'm doing. Because I can sit there and do a look in 25, 30 minutes and just take a picture and post it on Twitter. Whereas if I'm sitting here doing a look and talking you guys through it and explaining it to you guys what each individual step is, that can honestly take me about an hour just because I have to take time, sit and explain it. Not that I don't love doing it. I love explaining what I'm doing and talking through the tutorials with you guys. And I love hearing your feedback on my tutorials. So I just want to let you guys, my subscribers, know exactly what's going on and that I'm not giving up on YouTube. I'm still here. I'm just trying to see what other avenues are available to me, but I don't want to give up. I love YouTube. I love makeup. So I'm still here. I'm just branching out a bit. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get started on this tutorial. So we are going to start with the Master Palette by Mario. And we are going to be using these three shades right here. So we have Lula, Isabel, and Violeta, or Violeta. So these are the three. So we have a Luna is more of a top. And then Isabel is kind of like a very, very light burnt orange, kind of brownish orange shade. And then Violeta is a dark brown. So these are the three we're going to use to darken up our crease. So we're going to start with an 
E28 Diffuser Diffuse Crease Brush by Sigma. And we're going to start with that top shade, Lula. And we're just going to start by tapping that into the crease and blending it out. Because we want this to be very, very light and not a very dark shade at all. So just to continue to buff that out, I'm going to take this R37 blending brush from Morphe and I'm just going to sit here and blend this out until it is a very subtle, subtle, subtle color. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. Now taking that same base brush, I'm going to dip into Isabelle, which is the burnt orange. And I'm going to put this very, very lightly in the crease and then I'm going to add Violetta to darken that up. So we're just going right here and kind of adding that burnt orange shade into where we put Lula. So I'm taking the R37 and blending this one a little bit. I'm trying to make sure I blend that inner corner. And we're starting from the inner corner and blending all the way out to the outer corner on both eyes. Okay, and then just to darken up my crease a little bit more, I'm gonna jump into that Violetta shade, which is the dark brown. And I am taking this Echo Tools blending brush. And this is gonna start right here, right in the inner corner, right in the crease, and we're gonna blend it up. Not to be like nitpicking or anything like that, but I have always felt like the shades in the Master Pot by Mario, they don't quite blend smoothly enough to do anything more than a smoky eye. Like, I personally couldn't see myself using the palette to do a full eye look just because they don't blend out together very nicely. So I'm going to take this R34 blending brush from Morph and I'm going to sit here and continue to blend out that brown. So I think this is about as similar as I'm going to be able to get them. So we're going to go ahead and jump into a cut crease. Um, we are going to be doing probably about to here. Ooh, under my eyes, we're creasing already. Probably to about here because the rest of this we're going to be filling in black. So we don't need to go all the way in. But I am going to probably just stick with about this part. For this, I am going to be using the Cut Crease Canvas by Makeup Revolution. This is my new favorite cut crease product. It applies very, very smoothly. This is the shade Illustrates. And it does have a brush on it itself. But because I don't want to contaminate and mix the color and get it all nasty, I'm using my own brush. This is the Cut Crease E62 brush from Sigma. And we want to make sure we pack this on so that it gets nice and clear and white because we're going to be putting a very bright color over this. So we really, really don't want it to be patchy. Okay, so now I'm going to be jumping into my new favorite palette. And this is the Misfit Beauty Otherworld palette. It is a Coraline themed eyeshadow palette. I'm in love with it. Like, look at the design on that. I want you guys to see the design on this palette. It is so cool. And if you guys don't know Misfit Beauty, they are an independent brand, but they mainly sell off their Instagram page. And they have a really, really cool themed uh, brand. One of their other palettes is a Stranger Things themed palette. But when I saw this one, I had to grab it because I love Coraline. It was actually my 13th birthday theme was a Coraline party. So when I saw this palette, I'm like, I have to have it. Yes. So this is it. And these are the shades. I will be having a full review on this palette very, very shortly. But for now, I'm going to be focusing just on this shade. And this is Yellow Raincoat. And it is my new favorite yellow. Like, look at that. So we're going to be jumping into yellow raincoat. And this is going to be going in right where we cut our crease. And it's already patching. Let me fix that. 
This is why I don't like cutting my crease. Okay, so we're going to place this right where we cut our crease. And it's okay if it's not super, super bright. We're gonna build it up. We're just packing it on right now. So we're just taking our time and packing this yellow raincoat shade into where we cut our crease. But really, you could use any yellow. I know a lot of people love the yellow in the James Charles palette. The yellow in the uh, Life's Drag palette is really good. There's also a really good yellow inside the Life is a um, Take Me Back to Brazil palette. So whatever yellow is your favorite, you could use. So now we're going to jump into the Riviera palette. This is the new palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love it. Um, I also am going to be doing a review on this palette very, very shortly. But for now, I'm going to be using Inheritance, which is this shimmery, shimmery gold. And I'm using the same brush that I used to apply the yellow, which is just a ColourPop shadow brush. And I am taking Inheritance. And I'm just going to plop it right into where I put the yellow, just to kind of give it a bit of a shine. Look at that. Oh. It is gorgeous. This next step could make or break the look and I'm really, really worried. So I'm going to start with a lighter color first just so that I can control the buildup. Um, I am going to take this, uh, it's already messed up. I think this is F or E25 blending brush from Sigma. And it is a flatter Sigma, uh, blending brush. And I'm going to jump into this dark, dark brown shade on the Riviera palette called Palm. And this is going to go in my outer corner. We're gonna start right here and kind of blend it into the gold. And then blend it up and over. So now I'm going to jump into the Morph 39A Dare to Create palette. And I'm going to be using this shade right here, which is Muse, and it's just a, a pitch matte black. And this is gonna go in the outer corner and hopefully not destroy this look. Like, oh my god, look how dark that is. <sighs> Oy. Okay. We're just gonna gently build it up. I've mentioned it before on here but black shadow really, really terrifies me. So that's all I'm doing on the black. So now I'm going to blend this out and over into the brown, into the yellow. I don't know why, I just, I'm always terrified of using black shadow, like, I don't know. It's just one of those shades that terrifies me when it comes to shadows. Because I know a lot of it can really, really ruin a look. But I don't think it ruined this look. So I'm going to take this E28 Sigma blending brush and I'm just going to blend this out a bit. Okay, so I went ahead and caught this eye up to this eye. I think it's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I will come back, do the finishing touches and discuss. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I did my whole face, I'm going to try to do a yellow liner. Um, I'm going to be using the new ColourPop BFF liquid liner, and this is the shade LA, which is like a very bright yellow. Fingers crossed this works. I'm kind of worried. Um, I've had a lot of trouble with these liners being kind of watery, so we will see. So far, not bad but it's not as bright as I would want. Like, I don't know if you can see, it's not going on bright at all. Okay. 
No, it's not bad, but I think I'm gonna go over it with a glitter just because I don't really like how it looks. I'm going to jump back into Inheritance in the Riviera palette, and I'm going to take this flat angled brush from the Echo Tools and take my setting spray. And I'm going to dip it into Inheritance, and then I'm going to dip my brush into the water, and hopefully this will work as a liner. That came out really, really pretty. So I went ahead and added more glitter. I'm kind of happy with it. I'm kind of not. I'm don't want to mess with it anymore and end up completely ruining the look. So I'm going to be putting on some lashes. I'm going to go ahead and put on some lashes. These are brand new lashes from Wispy Winks. This is a brand that one of my friends on Twitter owns. I decided to go ahead and order some winged lashes or some lashes because I love the name of it. This is called, these are called Just Wing It, which I, I had to get them when I saw the name. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and then I will be right back to do the bottom lash line. Okay, lashes on, I am digging them. These are again, um, Just Wing It by Wispy Winks. I will have a link down below in the description box so you guys can pick up these lashes if you're interested. So, <clears throat> sorry, my voice kind of cracked there, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom lid and I am just gonna do very, very simple. Nothing crazy, I'm just gonna blend out some yellow. And so I'm gonna take up the other world palette again and get into that yellow shade. The oh, I'm all itchy. Get into the yellow shade, the yellow raincoat, and we're just gonna blend this out underneath the eye. So I'm gonna put some black uh, liner on my waterline real quick. So this is Swerve from ColourPop. And we are just gonna take this and we're just gonna smudge it right here on our bottom lash line. Or on our waterline. Not the lash line because we already have the yellow there. And like you see I'm not going really dark but I'm gonna close my eyes and just run it along. Like, at first, I really wasn't feeling this look too much, but, I mean, I kind of am now. Boy, my eyes would stop watering. Oh, my God. They've been watering all day. All right, so now we need a little pop in the inner corner, and we're going to stick with the yellow. So I am going to take that same liner brush that I used to do under my eyes, and I'm going to pop back into Inheritance. And we're just going to blend this into our inner corner. I feel like any other color would kind of ruin the look. You know, I'm just gonna put some of inheritance under my eye too. So I feel like that is a really pretty color. So now I'm gonna put on some lipstick if I can figure out where it went. There it is. So this is Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Lipstick from Wet n Wild, and it is the shade Shady Witch. This lipstick is kind of like a love-hate. Like, it works really good, but you have to build it up, so. That lipstick is messy as hell. Oh my god. Now I'm going to take this Gerard Cosmetics um, London Fog Cream Lipstick, and I'm going to put this over it. So this is the final look. I'm in love with how that glitter liner turned out. Unfortunately, I could not take an actual selfie to save my life. Yes, I tried for like 15 minutes. I was just not in a selfie mood. <laughs> so if you guys liked the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see more Harry Potter series, make sure you are subscribed because I still have Slytherin coming up to you. And again, uploads are going to be kind of about once a week because of school right now. And yeah. I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers, and I will see you the next one. Love you.
Bye. Thinking is